I want to show you one more kind of breakpoint, and that's a breakpoint that allows you to check if the value of a given variable has been reassigned. We call this a watch point. So the way that I'm going to create a watch point is first, I'm going to disable my configure view breakpoint on line 33. I'm going to come down to somewhere where the code gets started, let's say line 55, and I'm going to set another breakpoint. Then I'm going to run my code to make it hit that breakpoint. I've done this so that here in my bottom screen area, I get the opportunity to see all of the variables that are currently in scope. So I could see my image view, my name label, and so on and so forth. I can also see my user with its username and that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click on one of these, let's say username, and I'm going to click on watch username. It says watch point creation failed. Error, watch size of 16 is not supported. I want to go over this error because this is something that you might see. Is that there's an extremely small amount of memory allocated to each of your individual watch points in Xcode. And for some reason, you can only set about four watch points at a time. And they have to be, the information that they encode has to be below a certain size. This variable isn't because it is part of an object user, which is part of an object fruit. And in order to track all of that, this object is above the size that a watch point can keep track of at a given time. So that's what's happening there. And if you run into something like that, then you can set a variable separately in order to look at that specifically. Um, which is not ideal, but if you see that, that's why. So instead, we're going to set our watch point on the name label. And then when I go to the breakpoint navigator, you will see that I have a watch point here set on this name label. What this is going to do is it's going to print something out every time the name label changes value. So let me show you that. First, I'm going to play through the breakpoint that I'm already at. Now, I'm not using the breakpoint on line 55 anymore at this point because I only needed it to get that bottom menu up to show the variables and scope so I could set a watch point. So I'm going to remove the breakpoint on line 55. There are three ways to do that. The first is to highlight the breakpoint and hit the delete key. The second is to highlight the breakpoint and right click and go to delete breakpoint. And the third way is to Click and drag either here or here and drag the breakpoint off screen. So now I've removed the breakpoint. Now let's take a look at what happens when our name labels value changes. I'm going to back out of the detail screen to my list screen. And then back into the detail screen. Now what I see here is that my watch point has been hit and I see that printed out in the console below. When I backed out from the detail screen to the list screen, it tells me that the old value was sum and the new value is none. So that happened because we deallocated that name label in order to go back to a screen that doesn't have the name label on it. We can do this with views, but we can also do this with individual variables in the code itself. Say that our view controller had an attribute on it that we wanted to check on. We could do that with a watch point.